On June 30, 1908, witnesses in the Tunguska region of Siberia reported seeing a large fireball streaking across the sky in a northeasterly direction. The fireball was described as being blue-white in color and leaving a trail of smoke and dust behind it. Moments later, a massive explosion occurred, with some reports estimating the force of the blast to be as high as 30 megatons of TNT, equivalent to the explosion of 2000 Hiroshima atomic bombs. The explosion caused a shockwave that was felt across a large area, with eyewitnesses describing windows shattering, doors being blown off their hinges, and people being knocked to the ground. The shockwave was even detected as far away as the UK and the US. The explosion also caused a bright flash of light that was visible from hundreds of kilometers away. The news of the Tunguska explosion first reached the outside world through reports from the Russian military and expeditions sent to investigate the area. However, due to the remote location and difficult terrain of the Tunguska region, it took several years for scientists to reach the site and investigate the cause of the explosion. Leonid Kulik's expedition to the Tunguska region in 1921 marked the first scientific investigation into the cause of the Tunguska event, which had occurred over a decade earlier in 1908. Kulik was a prominent Russian mineralogist and had become interested in the Tunguska explosion after hearing reports of the strange phenomena that had occurred in the aftermath of the event. Kulik's initial expedition to the area was fraught with difficulties, as the Tunguska region was remote, sparsely populated, and mostly inaccessible due to its harsh climate and challenging terrain. Kulik's team had to navigate through thick forests, swamps, and rivers to reach the site of the explosion. When Kulik arrived at the site, he was confronted by a landscape of flattened trees and debris, but he found no sign of a crater or impact site. Nevertheless, Kulik collected samples of soil, trees, and rocks from the area and brought them back for analysis, hoping to find clues to the cause of the explosion. Kulik's findings were significant, as they provided the first concrete evidence of the scale and nature of the Tunguska explosion. He found that the trees in the area had been knocked down in a radial pattern, suggesting a directional blast, and that some of the trees had been stripped of their branches and bark. He also discovered evidence of a massive explosion, including rocks that had been fused together and debris scattered. In the decades following the Tunguska event, scientists and researchers continued to study the mysterious explosion, but no definitive explanation was reached. Theories abounded, ranging from the plausible to the far-fetched. One theory was that a meteorite or comet had collided with the Earth's atmosphere, creating a shockwave that caused the explosion. This theory was supported by the fact that no crater was found at the site of the explosion, which suggested that the object had exploded before it hit the ground. However, no evidence of a meteorite or comet was ever found, and some scientists argued that the explosion was too large to have been caused by a natural object. Another theory was that the Tunguska explosion was caused by an alien spacecraft that had crashed to Earth. This theory was popularized by science fiction writers and conspiracy theorists, but there was no evidence to support it. In the 1970s and 1980s, advances in technology allowed scientists to conduct more sophisticated studies of the Tunguska region, which shed new light on the cause of the explosion. One of the most significant breakthroughs came from a team of scientists led by the Russian geophysicist Viktor Zurovlev who used ground-penetrating radar to study the area around the explosion site. Zurovlev's team discovered that the soil beneath the explosion site was highly disturbed, suggesting that a powerful shockwave had passed through the area. They also found that the soil was enriched with nickel and other elements that are commonly found in comets and asteroids, providing further evidence that the Tunguska event was caused by an extraterrestrial object. Based on their findings, Zurovlev and other scientists proposed that the Tunguska explosion was caused by a comet or asteroid that had entered the Earth's atmosphere and exploded before impact, releasing energy equivalent to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT. This theory was supported by computer simulations that showed that a small comet or asteroid could cause a powerful explosion without leaving a crater. Between 2010 and 2020, 
Recent studies using satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar have provided new insights into the Tunguska event, but the cause of the explosion remains a subject of debate and speculation.